from Community Therapy. We're here at Alpha Life Care today. I'm here with Gavin. What is this piece of equipment we have in front of us? Yeah, thanks, Scott, and uh, hello. So we have the Lopital Reflex. Uh, it's what we refer to as a, uh, you could call it a shower commode. Yeah, mobile, uh, mobile shower, shower commode. commode. Yeah. Yeah. Lots yeah. of different words for equipment often. Yeah, yeah, there are, there are, yeah. And I guess the unique thing about this particular one is that it is height, electric height adjustable and electric tilting. Yep. Um, compared to your traditional shower commode on four wheels that is how you see it. Yeah, so a lot of people would have seen maybe in a hospital before or maybe in residential aged care facility, loved one, um, might have seen more of a fixed frame um, shower commode. So basically just like a chair that's suitable for going in and out of a wet space on wheels. Yep. So it doesn't really move too much, but somebody can be wheeled in and out of a bathroom. When we look at much more advanced features with a shower commode in terms of adjustability, uh, we're looking at somebody that's usually going to be using this for maybe a lifetime. They, they're using this as their normal piece of equipment to facilitate them to have comfortable and, and quality um, showers and personal hygiene. So often being supported by a care team. Um, supported by others to go through that process because they might be living with a disability, for example. So what are some of the key features of this product that you show to clients or occupational therapists? Yeah, sure. So the um, <clears throat> a typical hygiene type chair uh, will always have your, your locking casters. This one does have four. Casters um, meaning wheels. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Um, for obviously the good thing about that is it doesn't matter where the care is around the device they can always lock at least two of the wheels yep. um, sometimes you can poke a shower commode or a hydrogen chair into the corner of a shower you can't get to the rear wheels yep. if that's where the brakes are then obviously you're going to be a bit stuck yep. um, the whole thing is completely waterproof it is electric the it's got a charging capacity on the back here it's magnetic and it's got the, obviously the motors in the court incorporated into the backrest all the electrics you're actuators down on the ground the whole thing is completely waterproof so no troubles at all taking this straight in getting it completely saturated um, it has got an adjustable headrest so you can adjust that and that is also you can adjust it if somebody's got some different head positions they'd prefer to be in yep. um, it has got your swing back arms so that just comes back and swings out of the way again really easy and open to get into um, for the caring of the caring and cleaning of the client we do also have a removable seat if this is going to be used as a bathroom, as a um, commode, and then you can pull the pan out, and we've got a lid on that as well. So that's your pan and pan carrier, that's all incorporated, slides into the back. If you're just using it for the shower feature, then you just put the hole in the seat and you've got your, um, your solid seat. Comes with, it can come with two different types of foot footrests. Um, so this one is what we refer to as a centre mount which just swings back like that. Um, it is also adjustable, so you can move it up and down into these increments. Uh, you can also get it with a swing away, which is more like your traditional wheelchair yeah. type swing away leg rest. Yeah, definitely. Um, Want to walk us through some of the electric adjustability? Yeah, certainly. So on the back of the chair, we've got identical controls as we work out, so that it doesn't matter which side the care is on. So I don't have to, nice from a manual handling point of view. Yes. And we're passionate about manual handling with our online manual handling training available, but not having to reach over. If I'm here having to reach over to this side, I can just be here and you can see the different position that I would be in. And that seems like a small thing to say, but if you're a, a carer, a support worker doing and supporting this over and over and over again, possibly for multiple clients, multiple times in a day, that getting into all of these different positions, if we can streamline that and that procedure, that's a really important thing. So yeah, that's a fantastic feature. Yeah, and it's great that it's not a hand control that can be dropped or yeah. put somewhere here. Yeah. It's just, it's on the back, you always know where it is, no one's ever gonna lose it. <laughs> yep. Um, we have the height seat is simply push the button coming up and the whole chair is coming up. This is primarily for your caregiver going yep. on about your menu handling yep. as you say. This is a big deal. Now it's... I can be here rather than here. Correct. And if you're doing this six or eight times a day, this makes a big difference. Down here is going to kill your back. Yep. Up here is nice 
um, you're a much better um, pilot to the car. I was about to say the same thing. So not only is it a great manual handling piece, but it's just nicer from a human perspective that I'm now at eye contact with somebody, not looking down on somebody. So that sounds small, but one of the things that we love to do with manual handling training is actually sitting in equipment and having someone take you through things. And when you're in a piece of equipment like this, or whether it's a, often um, a hoist, a stand-up lifter, a full sling lifter, having been sitting in the equipment and being supported develops a great sense of empathy for you to be able to know what are those little strategies that you can use to make sure someone feels really supported and heard through a process of a vulnerable process of being supported to shower. So these are some great strategies and um, options from this piece of equipment to facilitate that. Yeah, and then the additional feature with this particular one is that it also reclines. So just to turn it sideways, controls, just two buttons along, and now we can also recline. So if we have somebody that is less able, doesn't have as much trunk support, um, or wants to change the position, again, changing the position, if they're gonna be spending a period of time, yep. you're changing the pressure to the skin, so you're going to yep. give a certain Able to support care. lower limbs here, once again, even at a lifted height, <coughs> may still have been bending down, so I can help support someone nicely here, often more comfortable from the side for somebody as well. That's good, Scott, and it's really open architecture, so getting in, cleaning, underneath the whole chair, cleaning the chair down even, um, really open, easy to get access. There's, it's not a complex piece of machinery. Um, yeah, there's no scissor arms, there's yeah. no ways to catch, not many places to catch your hands. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's just a nice, easy item to work with. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. So one of the key components here that we'll also think about with equipment is just this, the ability of equipment, especially in the home environment, if um, this is being moved from, say, bedroom sometimes to bathroom as a transfer aid as well, is how these wheels go on different surfaces. So um, the ability for these wheels to move across carpet, maybe over a small threshold at times, but occupational therapists will be looking at how in the home environment in particular, this may move in and around your bathroom, in and around your house as required too. So those things are part of an equipment assessment or trial as well. That's good, yeah. yeah. And these are also available for trials. Um, yeah, wonderful. Or rental on any of this equipment yeah. as well. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I think we've covered a lot on this piece of equipment today. If you've got any questions, feel free to send them through and we'll see you in the next episode.